Now imagine that you have a valve put in a line and there is a site person who is inspecting the valve. Now the valve has slight leakage, okay? It's very slight. But the leakage point is maybe H2S which is leaking or maybe some very toxic service or lethal service. There are certain services which if the operator or the plant person just inhales for a few seconds, they could die. It's that grievous. Also, if you have, for example, 100 valves in a plant or 500 valves, which are continuously emitting these toxic gases in the environment, then even that's very harmful, right? So you have something called as fugitive emissions, where the authorities give you a certain limit beyond which your valve should not be allowing leakage. But how do you ensure that you are able to meet such criteria? Engineers have come up with some very interesting concepts in order to meet such stringent criteria. Let's look at the first one which is called as live load packing. Now this concept we'll try to understand with an hypothetical valve example. So here's my packing material which is put in the valve. Now the valve in normal operation will keep on operating throttling the valve and the flow through it. But if you notice eventually the packing is going to get worn out and maybe it's not able to provide that much pressure. So engineers came up with a spring which is usually used and that creates a positive pressure on the packing material. If you want to see an actual real life example, see here, the white thing is nothing but your packing, which seems to be PTFE. As we said, it's white in color and you can see a spring assembly also. So it kind of puts a positive pressure to keep the packing in place. Interesting, right? Now, this is not it. Still, there could be certain issues like the spring has failed or the spring is itself, the tension is reduced. Do we have another amazing way? Yes, we do have it. Let's look at the next amazing. Way. The next amazing way is something called as bellow seal. This is a level up even than life loading. But how does it work? Let's see. Here's your standard packing which is available now here are your bellows and here's something called the leak detection port we'll look into it at the later part of it but right now let's first focus on the bellow bellow is an uninterrupted tube and if you see it has no place for the leaks to be developed also the bellows are extremely flexible so neither there is any leakage chance nor is going to create any friction because it's completely flexible the only one issue is what if the bellow ruptures so for that case here at the leak detection point we can put a pressure transmitter so anytime the bellows fail there's a rupture the pressure at this chamber is going to increase and we can get an alarm but the leakage is greatly reduced by bellow seals so on a side note i just wanted to share that i've also written a free ebook if you're liking this video you can check that ebook out if you like it you can download it there have been 2500 plus downloads the link is given in the description below also, I would like to share there are a few more materials like Calzer, which has come into the market, Enviro Seal, which also are used for controlling the leakage. So it depends on the type of application, how deep you want to go and what are the fugitive emission criteria. Also, if you're liking this video, you should also refer these books like Instrumentation Engineers Handbook by Bella Liptak and Lessons in Industrial Instrumentation by Tony Goodalf. I think you will find it very valuable and a lot of things I've learned from these people and I've extremely recommend them thank you so much let's meet next saturday if you have not subscribed please subscribe so we can meet every saturday thank you and have a great day ahead